Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to help you guys out with uh, if you're having issues with the PlayStation update. Um, I've been looking around and I found that maybe doing the safe mode um, reset and update will help out. So I'm going to see if that works. So the first thing you do is you shut off the PlayStation. Make sure you log off of everything, any applications that you're on. Um, shut down the PlayStation. And then um, go over to your console. You hold the left button on the PlayStation, the power button. Just hold that and uh, keep holding it until it beeps twice, and it'll take you to safe mode. So then you're gonna have you're gonna need your uh, your PlayStation cable. Uh, so connect to the PlayStation, connect your controller because you're gonna have to do that. It'll let you know. You hook that up, and uh, it'll take you to here. And then what you do is you go to update system software, update using internet, and it's going to give you the version 6.02, which is the one we're having issues with, hit next, and then it'll start downloading. See if this works. Hit a restart or update. And then we'll see if this works. So we'll go ahead and just let that finish up and then we'll jump back in the video. I'll jump back in when it's almost complete so you guys don't have to wait for this. We're almost there. Hope this helps anybody that's uh, trying to figure this out. Uh, we will find out right now and see if it, if it works for me. Probably end up rebooting itself again. And it did turn off. I hit the PlayStation button. See if it turns back on. It might have just done it on its own, but I go. I went ahead and pressed it just in case. Booting back up. So I got up this morning. Um, yesterday I was actually having issues with the. Uh, when I was playing um, Black Ops 4, I kept getting like logged out and whatnot. So I think that might have been a issue. And we get that message again. Cannot download. So it looks like it worked. I have like all my friends here, on my friends list. Go ahead to your notifications, go to downloads, go back to um, go back to the system software, hit options or hit actually triangle, and just uh, delete that. So it doesn't have a you don't get that notification every time. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, looks like we're online again. We're going to jump in on Black Ops. It does look like it's working, so... Just to prove it, make sure we're going to go on uh, multiplayer mode. See if we can load into a match. <laughs> 